Broadcast Center in downtown Spokane. You're waking up with Good Morning Northwest HD. Good morning, Northwest. We're going to get right to breaking news this Friday morning with the lake rescue in Coeur d'Alene this morning. KXY4's Eric Loney joins us from City Beach where crews pulled a woman from the water. What's the latest, Eric? Thanks for that update. We've got more breaking news with a woman safely escaping a duplex fire in North Spokane. Flames broke out just before 1.30 this morning near Monroe and Longfellow. That's about four blocks north of the Garland Theater. The front part of one unit caught fire and fire crews managed to get it out quickly. No one was in the home at the time of the fire, but there was a woman in an adjoining unit. A witness says she ran in to find that woman lying on the ground. Um, we were just watching a movie and all of a sudden we heard a big boom and then went outside and our next door there well my friend's next door neighbor's house is on fire and all of a sudden I ran over there and asked if anyone was inside and they said yes so I, we ran in to help them and they obviously came out alive so that's a good thing. That woman's home is not damaged and she escaped without any injuries thanks in part to a quick acting witness that you saw right there. And another breaking news story. This one takes us out to western Washington with emergency crews putting out a massive fire at the Tesoro Refinery in Anacortes. Witnesses say the explosion happened around 1240 this morning with high winds fanning those flames. Take a look at this picture. They felt their home shake up to five miles away. One worker died in the fire. Four have injuries and three are still missing. There's no word on a cause. So we're going to follow all these breaking news stories throughout the morning right here on Good Morning Northwest HD. You can always find updated local news and breaking news on our website. KXLY.com. So we've got a lot going on this morning. We're glad that you're with us. I'm Mike Gonzalez. Kalai is on maternity leave. Let's check in with Mark Peterson, who's over at Huntwood Cabinets on this for free Friday. And you took up my challenge. You're on that thing. You're looking good on it, though. You're in just a little bit. All right. It's worth paying you a visit just to see you ride on that thing. Mark, <laughs> thanks a lot. Hey, we're tracking a developing story. This one out of East Spokane this morning where fire destroys a historic building. Firefighters got to the scene just before 8.30 last night to find the vacant building near Jackson and Regal engulfed in flames. The fire department has yet to call this fire suspicious, but there are reports of someone running from the area once that fire started. And neighbors say the building, which is listed for sale, it gets broken into several times a month. One of those neighbors dreamed of buying it. Some ladies were walking up here and they were going to use it for wedding receptions. So we were going to use it for a reading room. Investigators will continue to interview neighbors and work to determine a cause. In another developing story, there's still no sign of a driver in Geiger Heights who hit a power pole, knocking out electricity to hundreds of people overnight. The crash happened around 1145. It shut down the intersection at Hallett and Grove. When police got to the scene, the car and its driver were nowhere to be found. But a split power pole and tangled wires that forced crews to close that intersection. It is 6.07. Let's get a check of your traffic with Officer Teresa. Good Spokane police say they now have a pair of taco stand robbers in custody. The operator of the stand at Division in Walton says he was closing up just before 9.30 last night and leaving with daily earnings when the two men approached him. One had a rock, the other guy had a knife and rushed him in an attempt to get that money. He ran into a house and called police. Officers later caught up with the two 25-year-old suspects there, Michael Brewer and Tyrell Bailey. They're now in the Spokane County Jail facing robbery charges. Well, if you're looking for a nice compliment to your Easter dinner, fresh asparagus is now available throughout the state. Many farmers are saying it's the earliest they've harvested it in years. Warm temperatures and plenty of sunshine help speed up the growing process this year. There used to be 30,000 acres of asparagus in Washington State, but now that number is down to about 7,500. Well, listen to this one. A pair of Arizona restaurants are serving up Easter money for Easter dinner. Yeah, they're going with a rabbit based menu this Sunday due to a number of people actually requesting rabbit dishes. Tell you what, not everyone's happy about that decision, though. The head chef says he's getting a ton of angry calls and emails and Facebook posting against the decision. One even wished him a slow and painful death. Incidentally, the chef says he grew up eating squirrel. Um. Take a listen to this. The Easter Bunny doled out some extra special eggs for students at the Arizona State School for the Deaf and Blind. Every year, eggs are equipped with the beeper that helps blind students find where they are. The school's been organizing the event for several years, and the students say it is one of their favorites. So pretty cool technology right there. All right, it's 610 on Good Morning Northwest HD. Thanks so much for waking up with us on this Friday morning. You made it. It is for free Friday, and Mark's hanging out over at Huntwood Cabinets. Pretty good giveaway here too, Mark.